Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. Um, this one is my very first box of Dread. Um, I have switched away from Horror Block from the Nerd Block company because I had too many customer service issues that, that kept arising, and it was just a headache for me. But I'll go more into depth on that with my very last Horror Block unboxing, which will be the one for January. Um, I'll just explain everything during that one because I wasn't able to cancel my membership before paying for January. So there will be one more. Um, hopefully it's good, but I just I can't deal with their customer service issues anymore. <laughs> so I decided to go with something a lot smaller, um, Box of Dread, uh, which I've heard good things about. I've seen some good unboxings um, on YouTube videos, and um, I'm excited to check it out. I know some people had said that this month's was not their favorite, but that's going to happen with boxes. You know, there's ups, there's downs. Um, so you just need to you know, do a few and see what you think, and hopefully, you know, overall you like it, but we'll see. Um, the This month, it's supposed to be Full Moon uh, is their, I don't know if it's their theme or just an item or two from it, but as in Full Moon Features, and they're most well known for doing the Puppet Master horror films. Uh, they've also done Ginger Dead Man with Gary Busey, which I know a lot of people are into. I've actually only seen portions of one of the Ginger Dead Man um movies, but I they're on my list. I'm going to watch them. Uh, they've also done Evil Bong, which I know I know people who have talked about that and think it's really funny and, and a, you know, fun film. So they've done a lot of the more, like, kind of obscure uh, horror films. So should be interesting. Really hoping for a Puppet Master item because I actually have the box set of Puppet Master films. I, I do like it. I don't watch it a ton, but they're fun to pull out every now and then. So anyway, um, this is also, uh, I like subscribing to stuff like this because it's it's like a very small operation. It's from dreadcentral.com. They just decided to start doing the box of Dread. Um, and it's a very small operation. It's not a large company like, you know, like a Loot Crate or a Nerd Block or whatever. So I like supporting smaller when I can. So at any rate, but should be good. Um, let's check it out. I'm going to use the uh, one of these openers, weapon openers that I got from Bambox recently. It's doing the trick. This is a small, really small box, so I don't know what this is going to be like in here. What the? It's hard to get under this. This is not coming open super easily. Letter opener's not making it. <clears throat> You're just gonna watch me struggle with this for like hours. Well, the problem is it's being glued. Which is fine. You know, I'm gonna make sure the stuff doesn't fall out. Okay, so I'm just gonna do it this way and just pull it out like that because otherwise we're gonna be here forever today. Let's check this out. First thing, it's a DVD. I hope it's not a Puppet Master movie because I have, I think, almost all the Puppet Masters. Oh, shit! This is hilarious. It's the Ginger Dead Man. <laughs> it's the DVD for the Ginger Dead Man. That's actually perfect because I was just saying I've been meaning to check it out and I have not checked it out. So this is making it very easy for me to check it out. That's great. Love it. Uh, I love getting DVDs. And actually, I'm fine getting just DVDs. I know a lot of people will be like, oh, man, it should have been Blu-ray. I don't care. Honestly, I don't care. Especially with the price point for this box. It's $14, and then shipping takes it basically up to, like, 20 So it's not expensive or anything. So if I get a, if I get DVDs, that's fine with me. But Ginger Dead Man, <laughs> perfect for me. What's the next thing here? Oh, this is just a... Um, like a promo for Shudder, which is going to be showing the Sadako versus Kyako. Uh, it's like the Ring versus um, uh, the Grudge, but the original version. So it's just a promo. But I've heard the movie's actually good. Rue Morgue magazine did a did a um, a review on it, and they said it's actually pretty fun and interesting. So it's worth seeing. But that's just a you know a promo thing, which is fine. You know they can do that. Oh, feels like there's a plushie in here, which I don't really care for plushies that much, but if it's a decent one, I'm fine. Oh, oh, 
Oh, it's one of those Mopies by Funko. Okay. Mopies are cool. I don't have any, so... They're kind of like... They're horror, but they're kind of cute, and they're smaller than your typical plushie. So it looks like it's Michael Myers plushie. Mopies. Michael Myers. I wonder if this is the only one you could get, or if there were other options. But he's cool. He's cute. He's uh, menacing and cute at the same time. That's fine. I'm all right with that. I have a Pennywise one on my um, in the basement on my couch, so I just sit with him. Oh, okay. And then here's a Delirium magazine. Okay. Um, I've actually never read Delirium before because uh, I'm a Roomwork magazine person, but Roomwork's cut back to only doing six issues a year now, so I was like, well, what am I going to fill the rest of my time with? So maybe this is a good option. Um, yeah. It's. I'm just going to pop it out because I'm not going to keep this. So I can give you a better look and it's not like super amount of glare. I mean, it'll still be glare because it's a magazine, but there you go. It's del delirium. Delirium. All right. Looks cool. We'll check it out. It's not super big. It's a lot smaller than Room Morgue, so should be easy to get through. But I don't know. I, I don't know anything. I've seen other people uh, do unboxings of, I think, Box of Dread, and they've gotten delirium before, so... You know, but I don't know anything about it. Okay, well, that was it. It was just those three items, which I thought there would be something else, like maybe a pin or something like that. But I guess maybe not, unless it's stuck under here. No, nope, that was it. I do need to check, because I don't think that was supposed to be all the items. Um, but at any rate, um, I'm relatively fine with this. I mean, a little Mopey's a movie, and a magazine, I mean, you get your value. You're not getting, like, a ton of value, but you're getting your money's worth, which is fine because, well, I mean, this DVD, I don't know what this is going for now. I mean, the magazine says on it's 10 bucks, so, you know, between these, I mean, that's at least 4 bucks. You know, whatever. Um, yeah, I can see where some people are saying this wasn't, like, the best month. But I look forward to ones coming up, and I appreciate what these people are doing at Dread Central with their box of Dread, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, let me check it out. And I do need to look into this, because I think there might, may have been needed to be another item, because I think they always do pins, if I'm not mistaken. But I might be wrong on that. But at any rate, thanks everyone for checking this out. Uh, if you want to see my explanation for getting rid of Horror Block, uh, just wait for that unboxing, which will show up, I don't know when, because it's... I never know when Horror Block is going to show up. It's so inconsistent when it's sh with its shipping. So, at any rate, thanks everyone for checking this out, and keep it brutal. As an addendum, <laughs> I found out after I stopped recording. Um, so this, actually, I, I needed to look at it a little bit closer, the promo for Shutter. It's actually not just a promo. It's got uh, information on it for um, being able to sign up for a free month of Shutter service because it's an exclusive for Box of Dread. So this is one of the items, so that actually increases the value for sure. Um, also, I was incorrect, there's not supposed to be a pin or anything. Everything that you saw was what was supposed to be in there. Also, I forgot to say that they emailed out to all the subscribers ahead of time um, the uh, links for free movies that you can get through this website called ibleedindie.com, which is mainly just for indie horror films. Uh, which is a pay, like a pay-per-view type thing. Um, so I think it was like six free movies to watch on iBleedIndie.com, which is a pretty good value. So what you saw, the plushie, the DVD, the magazine, plus the one month of Shudder, and the six free movies through iBleedIndie.com. So value is a lot higher than I originally was stating, so I just needed to make this addendum to be fair, be 100% fair to Box of Dread, which that's cool, um, being able to get more movies. I mean, Shudder, you can cram a ton of movies in with your free month of Shudder, so it's kind of almost unlimited movies in a sense. But at any rate, thanks once again, and keep it brutal.